another on the road episode. Kind of a late one. I haven't uh, had one in a while. I could have had one in a while, but I tried to start some up and I actually had nothing to say. And I was going to have a Spreaker show a couple of times this week. I had nothing to say. <laughs> Total blank. I was just like, okay, I don't even want to talk. Okay, because I'm that tired. It's been pretty busy up in this hood. I've been busy up in this hood. I have a lot of appointments. The little events here and there. Um. I'm still writing my stuff out, which is probably the most important thing to me. One of the most important things to me right now is finishing it up so I can get it up uploaded. Come on. Really? You, oh, my God. When you're on a main road and you're turning, don't come to a complete stop and then go super slow driving onto the driveway or whatever it is my gosh I don't know why people do that they like completely stop and then they see people are waiting to go straight and they take forever I drive slow and I don't even do that I forgot I got coffee oh that, that tasted good Okay, so I got two Mother's Day dinners this week. One on Mother's Day and one yesterday or day before yesterday. And both days I ate meat. I had steak, I had ribs, I had um, chicken. Well, I hate chicken, but I had a little bit of chicken. Actually, I had a fried chicken leg, or like a little leg. Um, what else? You know what I just realized? It smells in here. Oh, it's outside. Okay. It scared me. I was like, what the hell? What's that smell? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so we had all that. And I suffered. Okay, I was fine day one. I was fine again. And yesterday and today, I was hurting. Like, that was kind of a wake-up call because, in a, in a way, I guess it tested it out. Because the whole uh, couple of weeks that I went strictly vegetable and uh, fruit, mostly just vegetables... I was feeling a lot better, and I wasn't. I wasn't having some of the problems that I normally have. Um, and from two days of eating meat, some of the problems that I've been dealing with came back. So it is the meat. I mean, I think everybody should test that out a little bit, you know. Test it out just for yourself to see what would work for you. Because now I know. All right. It wasn't my imagination. You know, it really is that. So, yeah, I was hurting my stomach. And the big no thing I noticed is uh, yeah, the whole thing with my stomach feeling weird after certain meals, that changed. Get me on the freeway. I just need to get on the freeway. So yeah, that made a big difference. Alright, I forgot what I was talking about besides the meals. Oh yeah, Mother's Day dinner. 
that was fun. I got two of them. And today is probably the last big day full of appointments for the week, I hope. Because tomorrow I'm just going to stay home and work. I'm working hard getting all my products made and done so I can post them. Because right now I have absolutely nothing posted. All my listings ended a few days ago. And um, I have like no money coming in. But I kind of did that on purpose. I kind of just let everything ride so that I can start fresh. Because what I'm going to do is try to group some things just to get rid of them, you know, make a bundle, gift bundles, just get them, get them out. Okay, can I turn, can I switch lanes? Okay. Can I switch one more lane? Oh, no, I gotta stay on this lane. All right. all this oh, they're just making it worse more construction they just make it worse and worse they really messed it up like now they changed the lines I'm talking about the 58 the 58 is a highway that always has construction all the time Alright, so, I just got, you know what I realized, is like, I have so many, I don't know if you call them my hobbies, they're my hobbies, but at, but the, at the same time, they're my livelihood, right, and I'm trying to organize them, because there's just so many things I want to do, and then there's the things I have to do, and the things that have to do get in the way of what I want to do. But at the same time, I shouldn't complain because I'm very lucky. I could wake up and say, um, I'm going to work on this today or I'm going to work on that today. You know, I don't, I'm my own boss. But at the same time, as my own boss, if I have a lazy day and I don't want to get up at all, I suffer, you know. But I put myself on a pretty, not a strict schedule, but just trying to make the most of my day. And as a result, uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time to do podcasts because when I do have time, I don't even want to talk. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I don't I have nothing to say, nothing. But I, I am enjoying the hangouts. I am enjoying them. Uh, they're cool. I, I'm kind of easing out that way. So by summertime... I'll be there full time. And I hope you'll come and listen to me. I'll come and watch. Watch my stuff. Alright, let's see. Right now I'm enjoying listening to other people's hangouts and it's nice. kind of like a life update. It's kind of nice. I mean, um, it looks like I'll be getting my surgery after all. So I kind of got to make room for that too. And uh, if I get that surgery, um, I'll still do my plan to do my videos and stuff like that, but I won't be staying up late at night, um, you know, doing podcasts anymore. I think, I think I've come to the point, I mean, I've done those for about eight, nine years now, and I think I'm just getting to the burnt out point, you know, like the magic is gone. The fun of it is gone. Uh, it's 
certain people have messed it up for a lot of people, you know, to kind of destroy the whole thing of it, and, it, and it's kind of not worth the time, I guess, it's not, it's not even worth spending your free time on, because it's not enjoyable anymore, and I think I've just outgrown it. I will continue to upload it to iHeart, the little podcast, because those are still somewhat enjoyable to me. But as far as just radio, just doing, you know, the live, um, the live shows of being on, I think I'm, I think I've graduated. I think I've graduated and it's time to move on to the next level. Okay. Jeez. No, don't. Just. Dude. You're kind of getting on my nerve. I understand you have this stuff. Another thing I want to do that I've been thinking of doing is I really want to get a really old house. Like an old Victorian house. I might even get one. I mean, I'm not... I don't know yet. Because I, I'm kind of iffy about getting something in another state. You know, because I'm not... I don't know anything about those states. But I do want to get one of those old uh, fixer-uppers and, and fix it up. And flip it. I'm, I'm really considering it, and I think it's something that I would love to do, because it's, it's still a form of art, right? And to change it into something good, that's useful. Oh my gosh, dude. My patience. All right. So I guess I'll try, I will try to do a podcast a lot, one more live pod, one or two more live podcasts before summer. I'll try my best. I can't make any promises though, because uh, just because of my schedule and everything, and also, you know, I have to, I have to be in the mood for it. I don't know why. I just like, uh, I, I don't. I'm just one of those people, I have to, I have to be having fun and enjoying it, you know, I can't just do stuff because I'm supposed to, <laughs> this is, hence why I don't have a full-time job, okay, 9 to 5 job, because it's like, I can't even go, if I don't feel like going in, I won't go in, and I, I'm not one of those, I'm not really good at just being a slave to the system, I've never been, and I can do it if I absolutely have to, but then I become miserable. I become miserable. I mean, I'm a mis- I'm miserable to be around. I become a total bitch. Nobody, I don't want to talk to nobody. I just, oh my God. I'm horrible if I'm working full time at a job I don't like. I'm just, because the whole time I'm at the job, I'm thinking of all the things I could do for myself, right? To work for myself. And if I've been like that, for as long as I could remember. I'm like, oh man, I could make this. Oh, I could do this. And I have all these ideas. But I had to learn the hard way when I was younger, of course. You have to go through the steps. Even if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you still got to take what you can from the little jobs you got and use them in your future, you know. It's a learning process. All right, that's it for On the Road with Desert. Thanks for listening.